Well, hello, Cancerians. Welcome in. Welcome to your reading, Cancer. I hope you guys are all doing well. Let's get into your message and see what wants to come through for you. Uh, this is for Cancer, someone rising in Venus. Okay, I was going to channel a message. Yes, um, hmm. I was going to channel a message. We have the Ace of Swords with the Two of Cups. Okay, this is communication coming in from a connection, from someone whom you have a connection with, okay? It says here, reconciliation, okay? Ace of Swords is mental clarity about a connection. Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. I am almost certain that this combination here came out in the um, one of the readings I did for Cancer. The Ace of Swords with the Two of Cups. The Ace of Swords is communication, mental clarity. Someone could be having a breakthrough here about this connection with you. That is what I'm seeing. Okay, with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So I was going to channel a message. Okay, this really wants to show Cancer. The Moon, the Star, oh my gosh. The Two of Cups, the Moon, and the Star. So there is a wish fulfillment here with a, with a connection. Cancer could be with a Pisces, but this is your energy also. The Moon is Cancer's ruler. Okay, there's something to do intuitively. Intuitively, I feel like... Um, there could be somebody that's repressing emotions, could be an Aquarius. Regardless of this scenario, I, I, I see here someone's, um, someone receiving here some sort of fulfillment here. Something you've had faith and hopes about. Look at the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, communication. Expect communication. Some sort of breakthrough here happening with a person whom you have a connection with. Okay, this could be a new, a new connection. The Star card is a Yes card. Okay, there's a, there's a revelation here. There's a revelation here happening, okay, for somebody with this Ace of Swords and this Moon. The Moon is concealed emotions, okay, repressed emotions, Cancer's ruler. There is a revelation about this connection, okay? My gosh, I got really into that message here for a moment, okay? Ace of Swords. I mentioned Ace of Swords with this Two of Cups, which is a mental clarity. I have to see it that way. It's a mental clarity here. It's a revelation here. It's a revelation that someone's having about this connection with you. Okay, divine saying yes to you. What is uh what else does Cancer need to know for this reading? No, not this deck. Okay, fulfillment. Okay, I'm not gonna use this deck, but Spirit wanted me to look at the bottom of the deck, okay? Wish fulfillment, nine of cups, success, achievement. There's a happy outcome here for you. Okay. It has to do with the love connection, Cancer. This is your energy, okay? There's a revelation here happening. Could be dealing with a Leo. We have Leo, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer. What is this Two of Cups for Cancer? Cars want to speak. What is this Two of Cups, Spirit? Thank you. We have the Five of Cups is the past. Okay, this is someone from your past. Okay. This is somebody, this is somebody whom you do know. That is what I'm seeing here with this Five of Cups. This is someone thinking of the past or looking back. Okay, this is someone looking back. Okay, they're going to give you a recognition. You're going to receive here some sort of recognition here. Someone wants a victory here. Give me one more. Okay, three of swords. Yep. This could be with a person whom you had a disappointing uh, disappointment with in the past. Okay, even a third party scenario. Okay, there's someone here with regrets about this three of swords. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, they perceive you as guarded, but I, you know, this is a disappointment here. Okay, grief about the past, disappointment and grief about the past. We do have reconciliation with this Two of Cups. It says here partnership. Interesting enough, okay, because the Five of Cups here is an energy that's looking at the Three Cups here, looking at the past Three Spilled Cups. We have the Three, the three of Swords. Okay, this appointment here with an energy from the past who's looking back. It's a revelation that this energy is having. You're having a fulfillment. There is a fulfillment here with someone from your past. That is how I have to see this. Give me one more for this Two of Cups, Holy Spirit. Give me one more here for this Two of Cups for Cancer. We have a Ten of Wands. Completion. It's a burden being lifted. It's a burden that's being lifted here. The Ten of Wands. This is someone from the past that could have completed completed a cycle with a third party. And there's reconciliation now. 
communication coming through could be okay what is this moon card what is this moon card what is being revealed here something's coming to the okay an indecision someone that was indecisive could have been this air air element air sign gemini libra aquarius This is someone who could have been juggling you and something else, okay? An indecision, someone who that was indecisive and in balance, okay? What's coming to the light here? Did something? There's somebody here who's seeing, who's seeing, who's having a revelation. I feel like it's this King of Swords, okay? This energy could have gone back and forth in the past, okay? We have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Cancer. I'm just making sure that all the cards are showing for you. This is quite a reading. Okay, this is a person that has been debating, doing this debate for some time here, whether or not to offer you, to make an offer for you. Okay, they're coming in communicating because we have this Ace of Swords here and I mentioned communication. Okay, this is who's having this revelation, this King of Swords. This King of Swords is having a revelation here and regretting the past. Okay, whatever actions, okay, they took in the past, they're, they're definitely re regretting. I see a completion here with the Ten of Wands. You know, there's a, it could be at the end of a contract here. We do have reconciliation between two energies, okay? This is all in the past. That is what I'm going to say. This Ten of Wands, I feel like you're closing out this chapter here and entering into a love connection. Divine is saying yes. Okay, but there's a revelation here. We're clarifying this moon and there's somebody here that, that's having a revelation. This king of swords here is somebody who's very discerning, intelligent, analytical. Indecisive. It could have been indecisive in the past year. This is someone who's going to reveal something to you, Cancer. Maybe emotions. Okay, I feel like it's emotions because the moon is, is repressed emotions. The moon is repressed emotions. Okay, this is, this is a communication. This is communication here with this Ace of Swords. Two of Wands, this person's planning. Okay, they could be at a distance. Two of Wands, Three of Wands coming in. There's something in here that is arriving for you. What is a start card? <clears throat> I feel like it's in relations to this wish fulfillment, okay, that you are having. Wish fulfillment. There's something here fulfilling for you, and okay, in love. You have completed here a, scenario, a cycle here of grief, sorrow, regrets from the past someone here that could have been deciding okay for some time now here coming forward communicating okay this is a person this king of swords is someone here who's um who know who's making a decision okay they're going to, they're going to be revealing something to you this there's a revelation here that's coming from this energy what is the star card holy spirit what is the star card for cancer what is the star card for Cancer? Huh. I just saw the judgment, Scorpio energy. Something to do here with the past. Look at that Knight of Wands showing up in the reverse. I feel like there's somebody who could be, there's an energy that is... Um, Very, it feels it feels like out of balance. This person could be could feel out of balance with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is an energy who's passionate, okay, who's action driven in the in the, in the reverse. I don't. I, I feel like that something has caught up with this energy, okay. That's what I'm hearing, okay. Something has caught up with this person. The the Star card could be a healing, okay. Give me one more for the Star card. I don't read re reversals, but this person here in the, the the Knight of Wands in the reverse is not a trust. You know, it's a person here who's called quote, very inconsistent and consistent here with their decision making. Two of Pentacles, inconsistent with their decision making. And you know, this could have been a scenario here where that that's been the case here with some with this person here, inconsistency here with unst in, in instability, okay, uncertainty. There's uncertainty with this person. Okay, they could be in one day, out the next. That's what I'm hearing with this Knight of Wands in the reverse. Give me one more for the start card. So spirit could be healing here, um, something that felt inconsistent, some sort of inconsistency or uncertainty with an energy yeah it's definitely changing there's a change here wheel of fortune in the sun there's a change here for a brand new fresh start new beginning okay of happiness and joy i said the start card was a yes if there was a person here who was inconsistent with you in the past okay i feel like your spirit your spirit guides here are 
integrating, okay, integrating a sense of balance. It's something that you've been patient, you've been patient with, okay, with the temperance, Sagittarius energy. You've been patient with this energy here coming in and out, okay. Um, sense of uncertainty with this energy. The Knight of Wands in the reverse could be someone who's quite promiscuous, okay. They could be quite promiscuous. Um, Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this is, um, I don't know, something here is shifting. There's a shift here. There's, a, there's something shifting here. I don't know where I'm hearing this, but this could be a side message. I'm hearing someone could have had an accident, okay? Um, like in a, in a vehicle or something, something that, um, I don't know. With the, the, the sun and the wheel of fortune feels like a shift in energies here, okay? So you're going, so the, this, this changes, this dynamic changes for you, Cancer, from this three of swords, five of cups, ten of wands, okay? This, this could have been you, okay, in the past or, Presently, okay, take it, you know, time is fluid. So this could be future, past, present, future. I feel like this is in your in the past. This is you, okay, moving towards a new beginning here with the sun. The sun is a fresh new start. That is what I'm hearing. It's a fresh new start here. It's something changing. There is something changing here with a person. What is this Knight of Wands in the reverse? I feel like, look at this, Knight of Wands at the bottom of this deck. What is this Knight of Wands in the reverse? It's the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is here. Communication. What is this Knight of Wands in the reverse, Holy Spirit? Just hearing something coming back around. Um, look at that. The Death card. Okay. This is a definite change here with this Death card, Scorpio energy. Something has changed. This person could be changing their old ways, changing their inconsistency. Okay. There, there could be an ending. This is an ending here. Transformation as well. We have the Wheel of Fortune here with this High Priestess. Okay, I could, I, I see this as you. Someone here is coming back around to give, to have equal giving with you. What is the Sun card, Holy Spirit? What is the Sun card? Death, rebirth, okay? This person needed to transform or end some sort of way of living, okay? A lifestyle even. A way of living. That's what I'm hearing. This is, a, this is someone who could have been a player, okay, with this Knight of Wands in the reverse, okay? And they're going through a transformation here. Something's happening for them that's changing. It's called, it's, cre it's creating a change, okay? Some sort of shift. What is this Wheel of Fortune? This, the Wheel of Fortune is showing up in this reading with the Sun Cancer. Now we have the Lovers at the bottom of the deck, okay? Soulmate Connection and the Two of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune showed up with the Sun, and that is a very happy turn. That's, that's a shift. That's a very happy, favorable shift for you. Okay, the sun card energy, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, there's a revelation here. Something could have been revealed here. Something is being revealed or could be revealed to you, Cancer. Okay, with the moon here. So, someone could have been under some sort of illusion. Okay, they are in regret. Someone is regretting. Okay, regretting the past. Okay, completing a cycle. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, sun card energy for Cancer. It's interesting because the sun is in the horizons in the death card. We have the sun here. So something needed to end. I said some someone has completed, completed here, could have completed a contract. Okay, karmic cycle, ten of wands. Okay, and there's a new beginning here happening. Okay, with something you've wanted. This is something that you have wanted for some time with the star card. This is a wish fulfillment here. I do see communication, but it's more like a revelation. The ace of swords is mental clarity. It's a revelation. We have the temperance energy here, healing Okay, with the Page of Cups and this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, this is a person here coming in to offer you an apology and also bring in, bring in balance, Cancer, and heal, heal, heal something here with you, okay? They want to heal this with you, this Three of Swords, Ten of Wands. What is this Wheel of Fortune, the Stark, um, yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Star card, Sun card for Cancer, an end to an end to their inconsistency and to their ego. Okay, this is lack of confidence. The knight, knight of Wands in the reverse is lack of confidence. Someone it could be a death to someone's ego here, sense of pride. Okay, someone doesn't feel very confident, too confident anymore. Okay, they, maybe they could have been confident in the past. Can me um, clarify this Wheel of Fortune, Sun card for Cancer? I keep channeling. Sorry about that. Look at this. The, 
chariot. This is for you. This is for you. Major arcana for cancer, victory, success, moving forward. Okay. This is you. This is for you. Two major arcanas here clarifying this energy for you. Okay. Victory moving forward towards a new beginning. This is you moving towards a new beginning here. There's something to do with destiny, something that is faded as well. There's someone who's planning here to come in and offer this cup to you. I can't, you know, this is what I'm seeing here. This this King of Wands, very determined fire energy. Interesting, Knight of Wands in the reverse, King of Wands now showing up as a King of Wands. Strong Sagittarius, there's a sun here. New beginning here with this person. I feel like this could be a new person, Cancer, but I view the Knight of uh, Page of Cups as an apology. I see this cup here. See, this Ace of Cups, Okay. This king of wands here taking action, fire energy, deciding here to take action. They are planning here to take action with the two of wands here to come in and offer this cup to you. I see this person here coming in to offer this, page, you know, with this page of cups here and to, to heal something with you here. Two of cups, reconciliation, reconciliation after some time of disappointment and betrayal. Okay, ace of cups here with the three of pentacles and the two of cups. You can't make this up in the empress. Okay, who's out in the cold right now feeling betrayed. Okay, this is you. I see you as the Empress, highly guarded. Look at Virgo here, okay, taking into account and in reflection here of their toxicity. Okay, codependency, Capricorn. It could be a Capricorn here. It could be drinking also. Okay, this is someone that um, still still very much know, it feels connected to you. I feel like this person has hit heavy, heavy regret about the past with you. That is what I see. Okay, something something could be ending for this energy. Okay, play, their playerish ways could be ending for them. Their player days. I don't know where I'm getting that. <laughs> I don't know, but there's there's somebody here regretting regretting something that they created in the past with you. Okay, which, which turned out to be a burden. That is what I see. Okay, they could have been juggling you and someone else here. This could have been hidden with the moon, and there's a revelation coming through. Okay, sense of communication and mental clarity. Clarity. It could be communication about an ending, but Cancer here, Cancer is okay in their chariot. There's um, there's a sense of victory here. It's a yes with a star card. Okay, it's a divine saying yes. A lot of happiness, new fresh energy. I'm hearing vitality. So. Clarify this two of, give me one more for this two of cups. I was going to clarify this two of cups and we have, this is unbelievable. Okay, we have three major arcanas here, the fool, the star card and the lovers, which I now have to censor, but you know, it's worth it. Let's censor this. Okay, because here we have the lovers, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Okay, wish fulfillment here and brand new beginning here with a soulmate cancer. Okay, these are all major arcanas, the chariot, the death card, the lovers, Full card energy and the star. There's someone who's planning. There's someone at a distance planning here. Okay, I keep seeing the two of wands. There's someone at a distance planning here. Now the three of wands. Okay, queen of pentacles, king of cups, king, king of wands. Three people here. It's definitely three people here in judgment. Okay, but someone's moving on. Yeah, someone's moving on. There's definitely three people here, the three of wands. There's something coming in from you uh, from the past here, resurfacing here from the past. We have this three of swords here. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not surprised to see three people here, this earth energy, which could be you, okay? Or you could be this king of cups, but you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then there's this king of wands, okay? Three people and the three of wands with the judgment. And the six of swords. So someone, someone's moving on from this trio. I don't know who it is. Okay, there could be a departure with the three of wands. Someone is in expectation. There's something that a person here is, could be expecting. This could be you, Cancer, with the three of wands. But there could be an arrival also. Clarify this ten of wands. Um, clarify. I mean, you could have ended things or this became a burden for you. Okay. This is, this is, we have a star card twice in the reading. These are all major arcanas here and this sun energy. Okay. Something is bringing in a lot of uh, fulfillment here for you. Okay. That is what I'm going to say. There is, there's a lot of wish fulfillment here for you, Cancer. Okay. Coming in, we have Leo energy, Cancer. We have a lot of uh, uh, major, major energy here. So uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, very strong and Gemini, um, Gemini, Pisces with the moon energy. 
I was going to clarify this Ten of Wands here. I feel like this is the past. I feel like this is the past here. You know, this Three of Swords, five, this became a burden here for, from someone, for someone, for someone. There's this King of Swords here who's uh, discerning. This person here is discerning. They also, I feel like this is who's, who's communicating with you. Give me one more card for this sun card, Holy Spirit. Clarify the sun card. Let me see if the sun is showing. Yes, I think it's... Clarify the sun card for Cancer. <laughs> Clarify the sun card for Cancer. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Air and the Ace of Swords. A revelation. The sun cards of revelation here for you. There is going to be communication that is fulfilling and, 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 and happy communication. I feel like this is a blip, you know, joy, happiness, happy, happy communication here from someone, you know, that um, has to say, I feel like they're going to speak their truth. Okay. There's something to do with speaking their truth here. Someone who's analytical about their communication. Okay. Practical. This king of swords here with this ace of swords. There's no coincidence that we have the ace of swords here. Okay, at the bottom of this deck, okay? And I mentioned communication, so that is the sun card. That is clarifying the sun card. We have Leo, strength card, at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, let's get some of these. Um, let's get some of these for you. What else does Cancer need to know? We have trust, divine timing, okay? Trust, divine timing. There's something major happening here energetically. Okay, because again, when you see major arcanas like this in a reading and and a message so clear as this, okay, I feel like there is reconciliation here between you and the person, okay, after some time of grief and, sorrow, you know, disappointment. Something could, it's, it's headed your way here that, that again, I, I feel like it's, it's something that you have wanted. Is spirit saying yes to you? Okay, your wish is being fulfilled. Okay, because you're trusting or you're, you're, you have you have trusted divine. You have you've had patience. You've had patience here, like I said, with the temperance card. But spirit is saying to trust divine timing. Greater forces at play. Release control. All is working out for your highest good. All is working out for your highest good, Cancer. I see it here. Okay, you may feel like things are not like things are not progressing. Okay, trust. Trust in divine timing. Release control because all is working out for the highest good. What else does Cancer need to know for this reading? There's something here transforming. There's a change. There's a definite change that's happening. Okay, because we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. It says here, light work. A lot, some of you are light workers. Okay, it says here, remember, transcend. Okay, you may be transcending, getting past conflict, spiritual awakening, inner shift. This, this could be your person here. Someone could be spiritually awakening or having a spiritual awakening, transcending, okay? Renewal is at the bottom of the deck I wanted to show you, okay? A new life, that is a sun car energy. Fresh start, rejuvenation, healing after crisis, sacral chakra. What else for Cancer, Holy Spirit? What else does Cancer need to know? <clears throat> Expect a, a you know a sudden sudden uh, on you know news here from someone or uh, a revelation I should say expect a revelation here something's going to be revealed to you the sun the sun and the ace of swords is a revel is a revelation okay and it's favorable for you Cancer because we have the the, the wheel of fortune is showing up here with the star card it's it, it is favorable and and the chariot and the chariot someone overcame a deception. Okay, nurture, compassion, love, sincere feelings, wants to take care of you, protective. Okay, this feels to me like a lot like this two of cups, okay? Whoever this is is going to want to nurture this connection with you, okay? They do have sincere feelings, okay? They're going to want to take care of you, someone who's protective. This is somebody that's that's protective over you or protective over this connection. Protecting this connection, you may be in separation from this energy, Very strong Aquarius energy here in this reading. Okay, because we have this uh, Ace of Swords and that's air element. Okay, so Aquarius and Sagittarius. We have self-care. Low energy depleted cleansing. That's funny because I posted the cleansing bath um, the cleansing bath ritual today. Wanting, <laughs> wanting time alone, recharge, retreat. Okay, 
So self-care energy, cleanse your energy. What else is for this reading? Thank you, Spirit. And we have guarded. Okay, this is the Four of Pentacles, vulnerable, holding patterns. Okay, blocked heart chakra, the Four of Pentacles. Yes, security at all costs. This is someone who's holding back here. Okay, they could be holding back. This is an energy that could be holding back. But there's something here that is destined to happen. I feel that the destiny is playing a big role because we, you know, this Wheel of Fortune talks about karmic, karmic cycles. Okay. Life path, evolution, faith, and rewards. North Node, Mars, you could be dealing with an Aries. Lust, passion, someone's activating their higher self-integration. I feel like it's someone could be elevating here spiritually, okay? Having an awakening, having a spiritual awakening, and they're elevating. And now potentially, you know, they're able to see very clearly here. Again, this this sore for me is a lot of truth here, cl mental, mental clarity, Okay, and you've been patient with this, okay? You've been patient. You know, this is this is this is an energy that can can either be holding on to this connection, okay, still holding on or feeling guarded. I feel like there's someone here who feels guarded. For all I know, this could be you, Cancer, okay? But this is someone who's holding on or or feeling like they need to guard themselves. Give me one more for this reading and then we'll switch to, um give me one more from this deck holy spirit what else does cancer need to know what else does cancer need to know You're telling me to change decks but yeah let's see what else comes up comes uh through for you what else does cancer need to know holy spirit okay we have epiphany and a shift shift breakthrough realization sudden wake-up call energy shift okay that's that's the wheel of fortune cancer i want to what am i okay this what else does cancer need to know we have anger okay fire sign anger someone someone uh could be angry because i feel like your person or someone has gained a different uh, perspective okay different perspective and this is making someone uh angry be a fire sign okay we have perseverance and going with the flow okay perseverance and going with the flow i feel like you have someone has maybe surrender surrender okay you need to surrender that is what spirit is saying here surrender to divine timing a lot of you have persevered a situation um because you just go you're going you're going right now with if you know you have to you have to trust. There's an emphasis here on trusting your vision, trusting your intuition. We have this uh, vision energy. I don't know why I feel like I see perspective, vision, trust your the vision and your perspective. I feel like this is uh, has a lot to do with someone who's letting go. Okay, someone who's letting go. There's a there could have been a third third party here that per, that wanted to per persevere. Okay, but there's a truth here. There's truth. There's vision. Okay, going within. Someone could be going within, or going going with the flow here. And this is this has created a shift here, and it's making someone upset. It's not someone's not liking this. Okay, this change, the change that's happening. Okay, someone's not liking it. What else is can? So because because there's somebody that's trust trusting their vision. Okay, trusting their discernment. Okay, I feel like it's this king of swords. Okay, and someone's not liking it. Okay, what else does cancer need to know? Thank you, spirit. Dreams, important dream messages are being given. Okay, someone could be seeing, um, could, could be receiving a revelation here through their dreams. Okay, lessons of Uranus. Radical attraction and sexual pull come in with inconsistency. Yeah, come with inconsistency and detachment. That is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. That is really interesting. Radical attraction and sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment, a theme of freedom and or commitment. No expectations are the best expectations to have. So... This is a, I feel like that this is someone who did not want any uh, strings attached, okay? They did not want to have, um, they were not going to fulfill your expectations, okay? They, they, they just, they're just not, okay? 
there's but there's an attraction here very very strong attraction here could have been but it came with inconsistency and detachment that is really interesting what else for this reading this cancer need to know and that is now changing okay this was the energy that someone was operating in okay not wanting to, you know, not wanting to, to meet anyone's expectations, you know, kind of sort of coming in. See, deception. Someone is not being honest or is withholding information. What else for this reading, Holy Spirit? Red flag. Tune into the subtle energy you are receiving about this situation. Listen to the messages from your body. Trust your God and your intuition. Okay, there's something that um, feels like, look, we have deception again. Someone is not being honest or is withholding information. So there's there's a sense here of knowing, knowing. I feel this King of Swords knows, okay? Someone has mental clarity, like I said, okay? They have a discerning energy about them, okay? They could be trusting their vision, okay? Their intuition. This is somebody here who doesn't give up easily, Okay, there's a change that's happening with this person, okay? Um, someone was a player. Someone here is a player, okay? Was it very inconsistent here? Did not did not want to meet expected, you know, fulfill expectations. They they just, you know, it was all about sexual energy. It was all about sexual energy. Okay? And this 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 um this person here could have been deceptive. Someone here is acting out of uh kind of narcissistic energy, I must say, okay? Like selfishness all about me thought patterns okay get out of your head and into your heart this is the truth you know this could have been a red flag this could have been a red flag for from someone okay i feel like this vision and dreams divine timing someone feeling guarded okay so there's a breakthrough here there's the, the where the where, where something was hidden in the past with this moon okay i feel like there's been a revelation here to someone Okay, for all I know, this could be a person here realizing that they were dealing with an inconsistent, someone who was a player or, in, or inconsistent, okay? So, what else does Cancer need to know for this reading? Thank you, Spirit. We have addictions showing up and fragile heart. You can be vulnerable and trust in this situation. Your fragile heart is safe. Okay, new love. New love is at the bottom of the deck. New love or a new face in love is beginning. So a lot of you are going to open your heart to new love. You know, we have this addiction card here. Um, some of you have gained a clarity, some sort of truth here, discerning truth about a person. Okay, so physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts or other negative patterns or behaviors are affecting this connection. Okay, so I feel like you were dealing with a person that finally you've gathered, you know, someone here has gathered um, truth and certainty you're going to about this a situation. Okay, spirit is saying to trust divine timing. Okay, you will open up your heart. Okay, the spirit is saying that you it, it is okay to open up your heart to new love. Okay, we have this three of swords here five of this situation from the past here. I feel like it's being healed for you. Okay, you could have been dealing with it with an individual here who um, had code major codependency issues here. Okay, and did not want any strings attached. This is someone who kept on, you know, would not open up their heart. Okay, not, not, it's interesting because we have vulnerable, okay? The word fragile heart, and it says here, vulnerable, guarded, holding patterns, blocked, blocked heart chakra. Someone had, was guarding their heart space, okay? Now, now it's okay to be vulnerable. Spirit is saying it's okay for you to be vulnerable and trust in this connection. Again, this could be you or your person, Okay, but I do see reconciliation here. I do see reconciliation. Okay, this is someone who clearly had a lot of um, repetitive, repetitive patterns, you know, but I, I have to, I have to honor that there may be the possibility, Cancer, okay, of new love coming into your life with the star card and the two of cups, okay? 
and then you know something from the past here is going you're going to have certainty about this i do see someone here communicating this king of swords i see someone here gaining god gathering their thoughts in order okay and get, gaining a sense of clarity mental clarity here okay they do i do see an apology coming through i see an apology here because we have this eight of wands here this communication see four of pentacles with somebody here who's who couldn't open up their heart to you cancer they just simply could not open up their heart to you and you know it's like that's saying her people her people well this was somebody who was probably very wounded okay let's just say that could have been a Virgo, but we have this hermit here who feels to me like a very wounded masculine. Okay, that's kind of gaining a different perspective here. Okay, this energy could have had addictions, codependencies. Okay, I do see someone here coming towards you communicating. Eight of Wands, because we have this Ace of Swords, and that is communication. You know, and I, I feel like it may be, it may be with, you know, a gesture, some sort of offer, okay, to heal, to heal a situation with you. Okay. You may be entering new love, okay? By the time this energy decides to reconnect with you, there may be a situation where, I don't know. I feel I feel like there's a huge revelation. There's a huge revelation with the sun and the ace of swords. Okay, so let's see what else your person wants to say to you. What else do we need, um, does cancer need to know for this reading? You may be dealing with another cancer. What else does cancer need to know for this reading? Thank you. Okay, fears and blockages. We have need to tell you how much you mean to me. That may be the communication. That may be the Ace of Swords. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius, very strong in the reading, like I said, and Leo. We also have brown eyes, dark hair. What else does Cancer need to know? This is someone who's so guarded, they do not want to open up their heart to love. Spirit is saying that it's okay for them to trust this connection, okay? This is your twin flame, and can we talk? This person is going to be communicating with you, okay? There is there there is sexual passion, okay, sexual desire for you, okay? I, mean, I am getting that energy. I'm seeing it here. Okay, this is a twin flame. This person is asking if they can talk. They wanted to, they're going to be communicating here. They're just testing. I feel like someone could be testing the waters, okay, with you soon. Okay, Capricorn could be. What else for this reading? We're going to take those. And she knows, okay? An ex here who knows. Okay, your person could be healing childhood trauma, okay? Sagittarius. It's a yes. And the magic reverse spell work. The magic has been reversed. Spell work has been sent back to sender. Okay. A contract here has finished. So I am picking up that energy, okay, that a contract here has finished with an X. Okay. I've been, I've been seeing that all, all week, okay, reading for cancer. And we do have this three of swords. So um, give me one more. Give me one more for this reading, Holy Spirit. One more for cancer. She knows. She knows in confirmation. When I see these number synchronicities, okay, that's confirmation. Someone here knows, okay, that they made a mistake here, okay, made a foolish mistake, okay. And then we have Aries, masculine energy, emperor energy with an Aries that feels foolish. So let's get some of these moonologies to end the reading, Cancer. Let me know if this reading resonated with you. Sending you so much love and light, Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know? Does Cancer need... Oopsie. Okay. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay. What do you need to release? There you go, Cancer. That's what you need to know. Someone could be working through their fears right now. Okay. But we do have new love. New love is at the bottom of this deck. And we have a new romantic cycle begins for you. Okay. Libra energy. New love or a new face in love is beginning. What do you need to release? Okay, what do you need to release? I feel like there is a release release here or something. And again, this could be for your person here, but there, you have something new here, okay, in the horizons, okay, for you. And I have to emphasize on that with that two of cups, okay? So, Cancer, I'm going to leave the reading here, sending you all so much love and light. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm sending you all so such good, great energy, love and light. Until next reading, namaste.